Hi guys, it's Rosandra, and it surely has been a minute, hasn't it? Pardon me for coming to you with this video with an awkwardly low tone of voice and in a kind of weird location. I think I'm coming down with something, and I also had a wisdom tooth removed fairly recently, but I really didn't want anything to stop me from making a video, so excuse the tone. Basically, I wanted to come to you guys with this video as a sort of life update and also kind of explain why I've been away, so I hope y'all hear me out. It looks like I'm naked, let me just... <laughs> so my close friends and my family know that I've been really, really busy with work-related things and personal life kind of things, so I've been really swamped, and that's part of the reason I haven't been posting on YouTube lately. But to be honest, guys, like a big reason why I haven't posted is because I wasn't really sure about my channel and honestly about myself and my place in the YouTube community. When I first started my channel, I felt as though I had something kind of unique to offer, you know, being a foreign person and let alone a black foreign woman in Korea. And I thought I had kind of a unique story to tell. But that feeling sort of went away the more I watched other channels and I know YouTube isn't a place for competition necessarily and that's something I've totally come to terms with now but you know for a hot minute I was really caught up in other channels and thinking oh you know this person's personality is so much bigger than mine and this person you know they do so many more exciting things and have so much exciting content and it kind of put me in a weird place like okay what do I have to offer? because I kind of pale in comparison to these other people, you know? I also felt like my content wasn't great relative to theirs, you know? I have a tendency to stay inside and, you know, do my videos and that sort of style. And though I've been branching out lately and experimenting and doing other sorts of videos, I did kind of feel trapped as far as staying in my room goes. And my content was basically room-based and I didn't really like that. I just felt as though you know, I'm not the only woman in Korea, I'm not the only black woman in Korea, I'm not the only teacher in Korea, so what is it that I have to offer that other people haven't already offered at this point? And so I stepped away from YouTube to kind of figure out my place and whether or not I kind of belonged and stuff, which I know is kind of morbid to say out loud, but that's just what I was thinking and I'm being totally honest, guys. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, I've kind of come out of that mindset and I've realized, you know, sure, there are some vloggers, some YouTubers, some other people in Korea who you know, we have a similar life, we have similar lives rather, but, you know, they'll appeal to a certain group of people, and other people will appeal, basically, everybody's different, right? So it's not fair if I compare myself to someone with a bigger personality, because I'll appeal to someone for a different reason, you know? <laughs> just, I shouldn't count myself out of being a good YouTuber just because I'm not the same as someone else. And who knows, maybe I could reach some people that otherwise wouldn't know anything about Korea and wouldn't know, I don't know, basically everybody can reach a different kind of people group, right? So, and it's all about your niche and your personality will appeal to different people and I'm coming to terms with that more and more. So, yeah, <laughs> that's been good. The second reason I've been away from YouTube for a while is because I've been looking for a sort of direction for my channel. As of late, I feel like I've been just kind of hopping around and experimenting with different things and, you know, I just didn't like that. The initial goal of my YouTube channel was, aside from being able to contact my friends and family and show them my life in a sort of unique way, it was to also be a resource for people that wanted to come to Korea, whether as a teacher or otherwise. But I kind of lost sight of that to an extent. I found myself at sort of a loss as far as what to produce and um, what would be appealing to you guys and, you know. I got a lot of requests, which I very, very much appreciate, but then you know, I got requests for things that I'd already made videos about, and that in itself was kind of, like, discouraging. And also, I found myself tempted to kind of, like, go with the trendy career-related topics, like story times, and, oh, I went to the club and this kind of thing happened, when, I mean, to be honest, I don't do any of that stuff. I'm kind of a grandma. So, I didn't want my channel to go in that direction, but I kind of felt, like, tugged, like, maybe I should, but no, that's not who I am, right? I also figured I could go the relationship route and talk about, you know, my relationship, but I also don't want to, like, put my boyfriend in that kind of position either, where he feels like he's being used or something like that. I might bring him on camera someday, but I don't want it to be for viewers or for following, you know? That's not fair to either one of us. 
to make a long story short, I've just been struggling with direction and I'm coming to realize that it's okay, you know? YouTube isn't necessarily meant to be like a linear kind of experience. There's a ton of YouTubers that have just, you know, found themselves through experimenting with their channel, so. I might be experimenting a lot in the future with channel logos and channel content and honestly even my name, I kind of don't want it to be just my first name. I kind of want it to be a sort of nickname so it's not so easy to find me. Actually one of my students found me fairly recently and that was kind of awkward. Hey Subin if you're watching. But, um, I don't know, I'm thinking of switching to a sort of nickname. I've considered Mama Rosie because I want to kind of be like a maternal source of information, if that makes sense, related to Korea, you know? I don't want to be the person that y'all come to to hear a dramatic story. I want you guys to come to me knowing that you can get some advice and, you know, that I'll take care of you. Not that I'm going to be like, listen, what happened at this, you know, that's, that's not who I am and I don't want to change and go in that route. If you have any good name suggestions, let me know. I'd be down to hear it. All that being said, I just wanted to say I miss you guys. I love you guys very, very much. And I'm so sorry for being away for so long. But fear not, I actually have a free thought. <laughs> I actually wrote free thought. I have a free thought notebook full of ideas and um, different things I want to do with my channel and some things I'll experiment with and post in the future. I also plan to come up with a schedule so I don't go on a nine month hiatus like I did just now <laughs> because y'all don't deserve that and I really would love to keep my channel as a, you know, something that's relatively active and not dormant, you know? And I love posting despite me being away for so long. So I hope you guys can forgive me for that. As far as my life generally speaking goes, because y'all were curious about that too, yes, I am still in Korea, of course. I just signed my contract for a third year. So I'll be here for a hot minute. <laughs> I recently moved, so as soon as I tidy up and, you know, buy a couch and, you know, living room decorations, I plan to do an apartment tour. And actually I'm debating doing a video on how to online shop here, which could be both a blessing and a curse now that I think about it, but, you know, <laughs> I'll see what I can come up with. Yeah, my school's treating me well, life here is good, I'm happy, <laughs> and, you know, more than anything, I'm just happy because I know there's nothing wrong with me, there's nothing wrong with my channel, there's nothing wrong with my YouTube experience. This is just kind of the process and kind of what having a YouTube channel is like. So, um, I'm happy to post this video. Hopefully my voice gets in order and, you know, I'll be able to pull some stuff out for you guys. Well, put some stuff out for you guys. Y'all know what I mean. I'm not actually an English teacher, am I? <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys very, very much. If you've actually watched the video to this far in, <laughs> thank you. I know it's probably longer than my usual ones, so I appreciate it a lot. Take care, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.